Alright, so the outdoor season's over. My final weigh in after drying was two and a half pounds. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm impressed. That's my best harvest so far. So, with the outdoor season over, it's time to start focusing on the indoor gardens again. So, we got some new genetics in the mix. So we're getting ready to try those out. In the 4x4, we're going to have Peanut Butter Breath by Weed Seeds Express. Weed Seeds Express reached out to me and they wanted me to try some of their genetics. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. So this will be my first time growing Peanut Butter's Breath. So we're going to try it in the scrog and we'll see how she grows. In the 2x2, we'll be growing ice cream cake. Also from Weed Seeds Express. And for my first ever WDC run, I'm going to be growing Hague Nights by Chaotic Genetics. I'm looking forward to trying all of these. I've heard good things about all of them. So we'll get to germinating those seeds in a second, but first I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the sponsor of the video, Mars Hydro. Check out MarsHydro.com for all your growing needs. From ventilation, to tents, to lights. Don't forget to check out, you can use my promo code, TOPROOTSGROWING, save yourself a little bit of money off your order. All right, let's get to germinating the seeds. All right, so we got peanut butter breath, ice cream cake, and Hague Nights. So for the peanut butter breath, I'm only going to be doing one seed, as we're going to be doing it with the scrog. Once I get it going, I'm going to take some clones of it though, and we're going to, just in case, <laughs> you never know, it could be fire. And for the ice cream cake, I'm going to be doing the same thing. One seed, we're going in the two by two, so we don't want to go too crazy in there. There's not a lot of room, so we'll go with one, we'll drain it, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. Hey, Nights for my DWC run is going to be two seeds. So, because I got two buckets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the water here and then once they uh, they crack and they start to sprout a top root, I'm gonna put the Hagnites into the rapid rooter. And then from there, we'll go from the rapid rooter into the buckets. Okay, so for water, I'm just using straight up dechlorinated water, pH at 6.4. All right, let's get the seeds in the water. yet I'll leave them another day it's usually about 24 to 48 hours so from there we'll get them ready and we'll get them uh, going into the soil I'll have the peanut butter's breath and the ice cream cake and those will be going into soil like I said the Hague Nights that'll be going into my DWC so that'll be going into my rotors cubes all right so I'll check them in a couple of days and uh, I'll show you what's going on there. all right so it's been 24 hours they've all sunk to the bottom um, a few of them have a tap roots already so what I'm getting ready to do now is to put them in their uh, in their homes. I'm getting ready to put the uh, rooter cubes and soil. So we're gonna get everything set up and we're gonna get into it. All right, so we got the soil done. Uh, the same recipe, three tablespoons of Gaia grain, uh, worm castings, perlite. With the Gaia grain, I split it between the two pots. I didn't want the uh, nutrients to be too heavy for the uh, seedlings. We'll start it that way and we'll take it from there. All right, so to plant your seed, 
Uh, all I do is I take a, uh, a Sharpie and I just make a small indentation. Just ever so slightly. You don't have to go deep. Doesn't have to be super deep. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's there. And then that's it. Then you drop your seed in there. When you take your seed, um, some people like to put it a certain way, you know, if it's upside down to the side. I just kind of drop mine in sideways. It'll come off my finger. There it goes. And then just take a little bit of soil and just cover it up. And that's it. All right, let's do the other one. having a hard time going off my finger it was stuck <laughs> and I thought I lost it for a second. Remember to label your pots because you don't want to get them mixed up. All right so we got the seeds in there so I got the uh, rapid rooters I got the plugs here I've been soaking them for about 10 minutes so now I'm gonna go get the seeds we'll put the seeds in in the cubes and we'll get the cubes into the tray. All right, so we got the seeds in the cubes. We're all set to go. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Just wanna give it an extra little squirt because I squeezed too much on it. When I, when I took it out of the bucket, I squeezed it a little bit too hard. And I took too much water out. So we'll do that. And then I just want to, uh, just because the, the top still looks a little dry, I, I, I wet it while I was putting it together, while I was uh, amending it. But it's still a little dry. It was pretty, it was very dry to begin with, so it's been sitting there for quite a while. All right, there we go. So as you can see, I got a couple of uh, clear cups here. I'm gonna use those as humidity domes. So we're gonna put those on. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna spray every now and again, just to make sure there's enough uh, humidity in, inside the environment dome. And for this one, I got the, uh, the dome that goes on it. So, so we got water at the bottom of the tray. Uh, I got it on top of a heating mat just because it's this is right on the, the concrete floor underneath here so at least here it's got a little bit of a buffer in, in with the soil but here it's the, it's right on the uh, it's right on the concrete all right so my first DWC run officially on its way so a few guys that do DWC uh, I'm not sure how you guys start your seedlings I don't know maybe you guys just do clones and maybe it's easier that way I'm not sure but I'm starting from seed obviously so I guess I got a question is uh, how long do you let them sit here to develop roots before you put them into the buckets? So let me know in the comments what you do. All right, so we're gonna check back in a couple of days.
day six of germination and they've all popped. Oh, well, you can see that one, but it's there. That one's doing all right. These ones are starting to lean, they're stretching a bit. So I'm most definitely gonna have to get these uh, into the uh, bucket soon. So I'm gonna have to get the bucket set up in the next couple of days. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do to help is just, I'm gonna up the, uh, the light intensity a little bit. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me. Have yourselves a great day. Until the next one, peace. Thank you.